outdoor shoes on today, boys. <laughs> um, yeah, trying to walk through all of this whilst um, we love it. We love it. Um, so yeah, um, going back to a point I made on the last video I did about fake influencers, um, there is a valid reason why somebody with the same job title would comment on somebody else's post with the same job title. And that is the influencer effect, where if you're first or one of the first to comment on somebody's post who does have a big following, who generally gets a lot of traction, the likelihood is people are going to see you in their feed that might react to your comment, that might react to your engagement, and therefore you start to get in their feed. So if the person who you're interacting on the feed of is a genuine personality, somebody like, I don't know, Lee Turner or Richard van der Blom, right? If you comment on their post, they're getting a lot of engagement and you're writing something valuable, then there is a good chance that somebody who is interested in the sorts of things that Richard provides, for example, but maybe they think, actually, I can't afford Richard because he's a superstar. Um, but this person here has a similar sort of job role and they think, no, what they're talking about, I'm going to work with them. So there is a valid reason for doing it. Again, nothing's black and white with LinkedIn. You've got to know these ins and outs. If you're to understand LinkedIn with a fair eye, that's the problem. There's so much fakeness in it sometimes. I love LinkedIn, but I struggle with it as well.